Hello, Mr. Smith. My name is James Cairns. I'm the founder and CEO of printing company T-Shirts For You. I hope you remember me. You used to be my mentor. And because you were my mentor, I'm reaching out to you now because I have an ethical dilemma on my hands. And I'll briefly explain the issue. The order that I've received from a customer is a certain amount of T-Shirts with a slogan on them. This slogan is found offensive by one of the employees within my company. And this employee has come up to me and said, I cannot in good conscience print these t-shirts because I find them offensive to my culture. That is my issue. And my decision has already been made. I'm just looking for advice on my decision and potentially what to do next. So I have two choices in front of me. I can choose to A, print the t-shirts or B, simply not to print the t-shirts. And these both come with risks and benefits. So I'll lay out the opportunity cost for you for both decisions. If I were to print these t-shirts, my opportunity cost would simply be the feelings of my employee, but the trust and the relationship between my employee and I could potentially be compromised. However, the immediate opportunity cost, if I were not to print these t-shirts is much greater, I would be losing the money that I would normally gain on this order and the relationship that I already have with this customer who represents 20% or a fifth of my annual revenue could potentially be compromised. And at the very least, it would be severely affected because I would be telling this customer, I cannot print your order, which is my job. And if I can't do that, well, then we have an issue. So my choice has been made. I believe that I'm going to print these t-shirts and it simply comes down to the fact that the opportunity cost of not printing these t-shirts is much greater. And I have to consider the ethical implications as well. I don't believe it, it, it is ethically responsible for me to stop the printing of this order. I could potentially lose 20% of my annual revenue and this will greatly affect both me and my employees, that's a fifth of everything that I take in every year. If I were to lose that, well, salaries could potentially be cut. The employee that came to me in question, his salary could be cut because of what this employee finds offensive. And I cannot ethically accept that. I believe that my business has to go forward with this order as per our job, as per our duty to our loyal customer to fulfill this order. Now, I have laid out a SWOT analysis of my current situation as well as my company, and it goes as follows. My strengths, I have loyal clients. I also have multiple locations all across Ontario. My weaknesses, one customer makes up 20% of my annual revenue, and where I were to lose this customer, the effects could be disastrous. My opportunities, if I go ahead and print this order, I would maintain or strengthen the customer relations that I have with my current customer. Now, my threats, and this is particularly important. If I were to pr print this offensive material, there are other companies out there that would certainly be willing to present or to print this offensive material. And if I choose not to, well, the order is just going to get picked up by another company. Not only would I be losing my customer, they would be gaining the customer as well as the potential revenue that comes with this customer. And at the very least, another company would pick up maybe only this order, but I would be losing that potential cash and I would have to deal with another company that has gained that potential cash. Now, this is my solution and this is the order that I'm going to do things. First, I'm going to speak directly to the employee in question. I'm going to prioritize that employee interaction, the trust that I have with my employees and say, look, I'm sorry that you find this offensive. It's a hard situation that we're in. However, I've chosen to go ahead and print these t-shirts. I have to prioritize our company as well. I have to prioritize our customers and all the people that work for us or for me specifically. And if I were to cancel this order, it would send a message. And I simply cannot have that message out there. Now, 
after speaking directly to my employee, I'd speak directly to my customer and say, yes, I'm going ahead with your order. However, I have to warn you, I have one employee that has found the material offensive. And it's certainly possible that if one employee finds it offensive, well, other people out there, potentially within your company or elsewhere, that could find it offensive as well. So the order going ahead, I want to consider all my options, the risks and the benefits, and I'm going to prepare a statement just in case an unforeseen circumstance occurs and it all blows up in my face. And this statement is essentially going to consist of we absolutely do not tolerate or condone any form of hate speech. And there is a hard or a fine line between hate speech and offensive material. We do not condone hate speech. However, some material will be found offensive by certain people. It is unfortunate, but we have a duty as a company to do our job. Now, continuing, if the worst case scenario occurs, after we release a statement, we would release a policy as well, or potentially update our current policy to maintain that any offensive orders that we receive, any hate speech, anything discriminatory, will absolutely not be tolerated, and we will take that hard stance. And also in the future, we, were, we will hire consultants to determine the, if the material that we are printing can be found offensive or not. Because if this happens one time, worst case scenario, where we release potentially controversial material and it all blows up, well, it could happen again. And if we hire the consultants, we send a message that we are taking this very seriously. We are spending money to ensure that this does not happen again. Now, if this does not blow up and business continues as usual, well, there is always the potential that other employees will find different material offensive. So I, as a CEO, am going to take that stance and send a company email or release a company statement to all my employees saying, if you have a problem with what we're printing, what we're releasing, come speak to me directly and we will figure out a solution. Now, my stance has been made. We have to, even if things are offensive, well, we have to do our duty as a business. We have our customers to think about as well. We have our revenue and the employees that benefit from this revenue. However, I prioritize my employees and I would like you to come to me to sort out any problems that we have. And I've constructed a potential timeline in case certain events were to occur. Now, this is the beginning of my timeline here. Of course, I would speak with my employee first, immediately after I would speak with my customer, and then I would prepare my statement. Then once all my future steps or my prior steps are accomplished, I would print that order. Now, this X represents if everything were to go wrong and that unforeseen circumstance occurs. Well, there I would immediately release my statement to the general public and my employees. I would then change my policy soon after, after consulting with the appropriate resources. And finally, I would hire the consultants to determine if my material that I'm releasing is controversial or not to avoid any further issues. And finally, this smaller X is the potential that everything goes well, everything goes back to normal and this customer is satisfied. This at the end of everything that's happened would be me considering to change my policy for my employees. Now, Mr. Smith, um, I hope you understand my ethical dilemma. I hope you agree with my stance in that I will be printing these t-shirts. I am doing my best to consider the opportunity cost of my decision, my employee interaction, prioritizing both my employees and my customers at the same time. If you have any questions, any concerns, any advice, please, you know how to reach me. I would appreciate any thoughts that you might have. Thank you very much and have a great night.